The name of the album is The Changing Lights. Uh, a lot of people have been asking me, knowing that there's been a lot of bossa nova in my repertoire since the beginning of time, beginning of my time, uh, when was I going to make a bossa nova album? And um, I think that's how people hear me. That's how they like to hear me. I guess it's a, a music that they hear that, that, that suits me. Um, this isn't a bossa nova album per se. Uh, it's rather our sound uh, as seen through the prism of Brazilian music. Uh, there are a lot of Brazilian writers on it, but um, there are also a lot of originals written for me by Jim Tomlinson, my producer and composer and arranger and husband. Uh, and Jim wrote with Kazuo Shiguro once again, and they collaborated on a few songs, as well as with a poet called Antonio Ladera, and as well as, as, well as uh, with our old friend Bernie Popper, who wrote uh, Raconte-moi and Venus de Melo, La Venus de Melo for uh, Raconte-moi. So uh, it's a mixture of Brazilian standards and originals. I think at the heart of it all, uh, there's a lot of longing, there's a lot of saudade. Jim and I both love this word and the concept of saudade. Uh, a lot of the songs are where happy meets sad, and where sad meets happy. The first song in the album is called Happy Madness. Uh, I wanted to open with this because it's very much that happy meets sad, sad meets happy. It really lures people in. Uh, it's got a very melancholic melody to begin with, but this very buoyant lyric as well. So there's this beautiful balance inviting you into the universe we hope to create with this album. What has become of all my sadness, all my endless lonely sighs? The Summer We Crossed Europe in the Rain uh, was written for me by Jim Tomlinson and the novelist Kazuo Shiguro. Tomlinson and Ishiguro have been writing for me since Breakfast on the Morning Tram, and this is another one of those very beautiful, poignant songs. Uh, signature Tomlinson Ishiguro. Maizu Muvez was written by Jim Tomlinson and Antonio Ladera, a Portuguese poet. This is one of the Portuguese songs, Portuguese language songs on the album. And I read this to Jim. I loved the lyrics so much. I said, Jim, this has to be a beautiful song. I kept going like this. And um, because there's a real circularity to Maizu Muvez and the story. And I think just by my, by my body movements, by my gesticulation, Jim was playing the guitar and he started to play it and, and out emerged this song. And he went downstairs to his music room and he came back up and boom, it was there. It started to tell itself. Waiter, oh waiter is, a, is another Ishiguro lyric. And uh, I had this lyric for some time and I didn't quite know what to do with it. And uh, we, when we uh, had some time off this winter, we watched uh, the film adaptation of his book, The Remains of the Day. And all of a sudden, I kind of understood the characters in the song a little better, and I went down and I wrote it very quickly. So, watch The Remains of the Day, and listen to Waiter, O Waiter, and see if you can get the link. See Mr. Stevens, the butler, emerge in Waiter, O Waiter, but it, with more humor. O Barquinho is a great bossa nova classic written in 1960 by Roberto Menescal and uh, Ronaldo Boscoli. One of the most amazing moments in my life was meeting Roberto Menescal. Uh, I was playing at the 80th birthday anniversary of Cristo Head and Tor in Rio de Janeiro. And uh, he was going on stage and I was coming off and we decided to uh, exchange email addresses right then and there. We each had our iPhone, so we did. And we started writing each other and we became friends. And uh, so when I started to make this album, I asked him if he would come and play on it. And he said, tell me where to be, tell me when to be there, tell me what to wear, I'm coming. I knew from the second I heard uh, and read the lyric for The Changing Lights that I wanted it to be my title track. 
Uh, it was exactly the universe I wanted to create and enter into with this album. I think it's the perfect marriage of melody and lyric. This was again written by Jim Tomlinson and Kazuo Shiguro, who uh, wrote this perfect song. Jim, as a composer and an arranger, he loves the words. Everything is so lyric-oriented. It was nearly Zavalid, or perhaps Trafalgar Square. It was late at night, the city was asleep. How Insensitive is one of the most beautiful bossa novas that I know. It's so sad, it's so bleak and heartbreaking and so beautiful. Sometimes that's what we're looking for. So if it's catharsis you want, <laughs> track eight. <laughs> was I to say? What can you say? Smile. This is two songs in one. Smile. This is the ultimate song about the human condition. This is the lyric that encapsulates so much that exists in Brazilian music, that happiness and sadness all finding the perfect balance. We open up with a, an instrumental version of O Bebedo e Equilibrista, which is a song written by João Bosco. And often on his shows, he will play Smile as an introduction into his song. And so what we decided to do was take his song, very beautiful song that he wrote, and make it the introduction to Smile. Smile And maybe tomorrow You'll see the sun Oh how I dream I could be like the Like a Lover is such a great song. This was written by Dori Kaimi. I'm a huge Dori Kaimi fan. Uh, like both as a composer, a player, singer. Uh, this one has a lyric by Marilyn and Alan Bergman. Uh, a married couple who write the most unbelievably romantic, beautiful songs together. I wonder what it is about a married couple writing romantic songs together that attracts me. Oh, how I dream I might be like the river wind. Deste tempo nas casas. Uh, is a song that I wrote with Antonio Ladera. I guess the music has the, the sound of something that's, that's slightly pre-Bossa Nova, maybe like a Cartola song or something like that. I wrote it and then I, uh, I asked Roberto Menescal if he would consider playing it for the album and uh, he said yes. <laughs> so so that's uh, that's nice for me to have one of my own songs played by played by such a great of the of Brazilian music. Think of any old sky getting ready to cry. When I went to Brazil uh, a couple of years ago to perform for the 80th anniversary celebration of Cristo Redentor in Rio de, Rio de Janeiro. Uh, the producers of that event, of that TV show, asked me to come and sing with Marcus Valle. Uh, it was the first time we had met. There was unbelievable chemistry. We had an unbelievable time. And uh, Marcus said, we've got to work together. And I said, yes, you're right. And about three weeks later, I got a call from him saying, come on tour, and we did. And uh, it was the beginning of a very beautiful relationship. And one of the songs that we sang on his tour was his, uh, The Face I Love. I love. After Raconte Moi, uh, I knew that I wanted to work with Bernie Popper again. Bernie wrote the lyrics to Raconte Moi and La Venus de Melo. And so Jim and, and Bernie collaborated on this one, Chanson Légère. The thing about them together as a, as a songwriting team is they're playful with all the senses, with touch and smell and feel, and it's, uh, the lyric is very sensual. If I was able to write the music and arrange the music on guitar, so I'm writing and arranging for a jazz trio as if it's a guitar, or when there is a guitar, I'm able to write for the piano and the guitar in a much more effective way than I ever have done before. So I think even though the, the music is not necessarily guitar-led, I think of it as being guitar music. Con caresse cette chanson. 
And always at the center of it all is the story. It's, this isn't anything new about me because I'm a lover of words. Jim is a lover of words. We are lovers of lyrics, but the story is always at the center. And I think the stories on this album are just beautiful stories. I was very excited that Jim and Ishiguro wanted to write so much for me on this record, uh, that they had new songs in mind, and they became really very much the foundation of the album, like The Changing Lights. That was the universe that I could create with this album.